So we are just sitting here by one of like the busiest spots in the whole town today because there's amusements on, there's a park over there, there's stuff going on in this building over here and oh there's a man coming in. Anyway the only way that I have to get into this place is up over that wall so I'm just sitting here trying to be all nonchalant like pretending I'm just taking in the view or something when I'm really waiting for a good time to make a runner for that wall. On today's video, I find myself at a popular beach town in Donegal, Ireland. The eye-catching Art Nouveau style property has always interested me every time I've drove past this town, so recently I finally stopped to check it out. Built in an absolutely prime location in the early 1900s, this house was once regarded locally as the nicest house in town. Compared to all of its surrounding buildings of the same age, it's not hard to see why this one stood out to the locals and was regarded as one of the nicest. Originally used as a home, it was eventually extended two or three times to the back so that it could start taking in paying guests and it became a casual guest house styled hotel. Although we could find tons of history on the place, I know that it's been vacant since 2010. That is us in. At long last, I was literally waiting there for a few hours and I was like, the sun is going to be down by the time I get in here, but I think we have enough time to make the video before I nearly fell. I swear to God, every intro for a YouTube video, I nearly fall. I have the dog with me, of course. It was a mission getting her over the wall, but she is as nimble as I am, so... It's like, do you know when you can smell a car in? Mums in the car park are probably going to phone the Garda and be like, there was a man breaking into a property in front of me when I just climbed a wall. So I'm gonna try and make it quick, just in case the garage or something show up. This is the side view of the hotel. It's a very deep, long property, as skinny as it is. Obviously right on the other side of this fence is like the main street, and there's a lot of traffic and foot traffic going past. big wide double doors at each side of the front door so the front entrance comes out at like a wee bit of an end cove and then would have been the living room and the drawing room I think it was had those like double doors opening up into the front porch underneath like a piece of glass it's just supported by virtually nothing so we're inside and we can see them old like net curtains. They are definitely a throwback. Oh, so this would have been an extension and that was the original, you know, double door because there's a wee window there to the front hall. It's been boarded up now, but as soon as we get in here, I'm greeted with a lot of old TVs. Now I've never seen a Mitsubishi TV in my life. I thought they had cars and stuff. And so we will make our way in to the main house. Wow. I really like them green curtains and the big shutters. A bit stuck now, like the floors are looking pretty bad. Green curtains over there too. This furniture is so grand. Some speakers and stuff. I wonder was that a light switch? Or what was that? If someone knows what this was, let me know. These old fire guards over at the fire. It looks like a peacock. That unit has just caved in through the floor. I wonder what this would have been used for. 
I don't want to open it in case it's like something that I shouldn't open. Everything has orange stickers on it, so there was meant to be. Obviously, someone's went through here and like put a sticker on everything that they wanted to keep in the house or whatever whenever they moved out. So we'll just try and squeeze out here into the front hall. Now, see these tiles here? It's very interesting because over a hundred years ago, whenever this house was built, these tiles were salvaged from an old church or chapel nearby. And they were put in this house, in the front hall specifically. And now they're just sitting here covered in rubble. This really nice unit here and the really nice stained glass pink and green. No, I, I, like, I've seen these before, but I'm not sure what they do. While we're here though, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, give this video a like and leave a comment, share it with your friends, do whatever you want. Um, yeah. And here is probably my favorite room in the whole house because of this wallpaper and then you'll see on the other side it is just like a wall of curtain it looks very like 1920s well, there's a neon sign there what did it say telephone sitting over there man this floor it's gonna be the day oh! nah I'm falling through it oh! back and beneath my feet oh. so that room just leads into the only bedroom that we have downstairs there's not too much left behind in it compared to the other ones where we fit all down there. I like the sink though. So uh, like I hear a lot of the features are original to the house from just a wee bathroom. Very dark. So if we make our way out here, I'm just going to need my torch. So if we head out here, this just leads us out behind where the stairs are. And we can see them tidies again that were salvaged. So under the stairs, a lot of random assortments of items. The wallpaper all throughout this house is fascinating because it's just like a completely different era completely this door is really nice and then this lamp matches the one in the front parlor or, or drawing room or whatever it would have been I kind of like this room. Old Hoover, old ironing board. Bridget's room. So I take it that's what this was. This couldn't have been a bedroom. I think that was taken from one of the bedrooms and maybe sat there because this patio being a dining room or something like that.
So what tells me that this was the dining room is because it leads into the kitchen with a very nice pattern on the wall. I really like these pictures because they're like embedded into the wall, into the that sort of designed rendering that they have on it. Hey, what is this? Is that the house? No. I think that would have been Main Street in this town. Once upon a time. So the kitchen's obviously been added on like way more recent than the rest of the house. Not much to see. I need to get myself one of these. Doesn't really compare to this wee thing that I have today. I normally have a bigger one, but it's not as bright as this thing. But this dies in about five minutes. If anyone actually knows good torches, I need one that's like 10,000 lumens at least, but not like 300 quid. And is gonna last a long time. This room is the worst in the whole house. Like that's the roof from upstairs. That's furniture from upstairs there. The legs of it peeking out. And upstairs is just caved down. Mental. I can't even see in there. I just have my arm reached in, so I don't know actually if you're looking at anything of importance. But yeah, whole roof has collapsed. And then down here, it looks like there was a fire or something. No, it doesn't. It looks like there's just a lot of water damage. So I'm not even going to chance getting in there. But you can see it's just like a wee storage room. I'm just having a wee nosy through this. And it is a certificate from 1910. And it's basically like someone's nursing degree. It's just to certify that this name on the 5th day of November 1910 completed three years of training as a nurse in a medical surgical ward at this hospital in Dublin. I can't even read what that is, Mater something hospital Dublin certificate of training. That is very, very interesting. A lot of artwork and stuff lying about this house. It's a really nice leather wallet, I wonder what. Nothing on it, but then here's another sort of college-y thing from 1987. Franciscan College, County Meath. I wonder what they do there. Ooh. To a wonderful mother, birthday greetings. Oh, that's sad. I'm gonna take these up the stairs, and if you can see, they're dying to collapse. So we'll watch our steps. We have to jump up this wire as well. Straight up at the top, we have a male toilet. Not even a sink or anything, just the toilet. Some bar stools and stuff. This is Mr. Nosy's room. A lot of the rooms just have these weird, like... Anyways, as I was saying, I don't know the name of the show, but there's a lot of rooms that just have, like, the... references to the characters, the characters' names on the... on the door. Why can I not speak? I can't even think today. Back out to the hall, this very front room above the front door. I'm not gonna step in because the... the floor. But, uh... I love the decay in here, just the way everything's peeling. There's probably just a wee storage room, I would say. But with the, the stained glass to match downstairs as well. 
just over here we have Mr. Lazy's room. And this is my favourite one because there is so much old records lying about. Like cases upon cases of old music stuff. Paul McCartney. A load of old articles. They obviously really enjoyed music, whoever stayed in this room. Oh, look at all the postcards lying everywhere. I think these are from America. Having a great holiday, hope you are too. The wild that you see is something of the... I don't know, I can't really read that writing, but... Postcards from all over the world. These old, old arched doorways were obviously patched up at some point, they like square them off and it was a terrible job that they done because they're all fallen around the place. This other front bedroom, probably one of my favourites because like the other one, it leads out to the balcony which is on Main Street so just so you can see what the balcony is all about. This room in here was Mr. Massey's room, which is quite fitting. Wow, I love that. More records in here, more old TVs. That's a really old TV there, actually. The old antenna sticking out the back. Is that an old camera? What is that? It looks like a camera, but that thing's huge. Maybe it's like disco lighting or something. Hopefully one of you guys know. And you can educate me what that is. The lighting in here is not ideal, but it's just because like there's so many built up buildings just around it and the sun faces out the back, the, or this place goes on for like, obviously the, the addition out the back is a lot newer. The original house was just the front part. And then when they were converting into a hotel, they built a way back. We ladies bathroom with not even a sink. That's how long it was. Like I'm sure there would be like health and safety standards nowadays that are like, no, you kind of need a wash, a wash basin in your bathroom. Look at the doors on the hot press doors. Very funky. No, it's not actually. Well, it's a fabric wallpaper that someone's put on, I think. Very nice though. Same wallpaper is out here. I'm not sure what this green thing is here. Make yourself at home. I might actually, oh, there's some holy water from Knock. We love finding that. You'd be surprised how much holy water from Knock that you find in old abandoned places. I might just open these.
curtains. Just to let some light in here. Wow, there's a lot of clothes that's been left there. Fireplace all hidden up. It's a really old socket. It's like circular. If my camera would focus. I'm really sorry that the lighting is so bad. And my phone camera is just struggling to keep up and focus. I'm going to open these curtains and see if it would help. If there's no spiders or nothing on It's a bit brighter in here now. I'm always scared to open the curtains just in case there is spiders or anything living in them. I jump out. This room, I'm really curious about this green thing with the holder and hooks and stuff up here. What that would have been used for. It's, I suppose it's supposed to be me doing the research and telling you what this is, but I really like this dresser, the way they have like the fabric underneath and then it's a sheet of glass on top of it. So you just clean off the glass and you never have to worry about dirtying the fabric or anything. It's really smart. Old French saying, saying, Lee Bean. I'm not sure what that means, but there's a photo of a bath, so I'm assuming it might be like a bathroom hook or something. But anywho, we will venture farther back into the house and we'll see the view out the back. It is incredible. Another main bathroom here with a shower tub type thing. Another very old sink. So we come around the corner and there's a room in here that's boarded up and that is because that's the room downstairs, do you remember, that had like completely fell through. So the property owner has obviously made the wise decision just to cover that up so no one can go in there. And this room beside it has nothing in it. It's a very small little room. I'm not sure if this would have been a room, but it's numbered 15. Now guys, room number 15, I can count like eight or nine rooms in this place. Anywhere online I can find about it having eight or nine rooms, like 10 maximum. So we have room number 11 here, it ends at 15. Here's room number 10 with the incredible view of the seaside. However, room number 11 doesn't exist. So I'm not actually sure like how they numbered the places in here or why they have like six extra room numbers than they had rooms. Was it like a show thing? Did they just wanna seem like they had more rooms? But oh my God, you guys look at this view. There's a wee shelf over here with some stuff on it. Telephone. I can't believe that view. I'm not sure if you've seen that, but there was a wee guy trying to climb the fence there. I wonder had he seen me. I think that is my cue to wrap the video up. And I'll let these other guys explore the place. This one actually makes me really sad because like, this was once the nicest house in the whole town. And now it's just sitting here like this when it could be used for so much different ways. There's like nine, ten bedrooms. So that's like ten people that could easily be housed here. Maybe it's not. That chandelier. Wow. This has to be the best room 